Good morning, dreamers. How are you today? It's the spot. It's the spot. I pray your sleep was good. If you are going to a place of worship, may you have a wonderful time. If you are going out into creation to connect with the creator that way, may you have safety as you go. <sighs> I was talking to a friend about benediction a while back and how we need more benediction in our lives and in our circles. We find them scattered throughout the holy text and they're like prayers, almost wishes, but they're hopeful thoughts as you depart. Often at the beginning of a journey, um, as people are separating from each other to go and do something. So I have a Sunday morning benediction for you. It is not from the scripture because they are not promises. It is a practice and us 2021 sages can start to practice what we hope for you as we part our ways and go about our days, right? And um, so my benediction is this. I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you. I pray that you will find relationship with your creator today. I pray that you will be filled with joy, even in moments of sorrow, that the joy would not fade away. I pray that this day you will be able to find some time to get out into the world and connect with nature, whether that is at a park or whether that is with a friend create another created being. I pray that today you will find rest for your spirit, even if your schedule is busy, that you will be grounded in the truth, that you will be able to walk with your feet planted firmly on this earth, that your mind will not be scattered in a million directions, that you will be able to release what others have said about you and to you and take from what they say the truth of the matter and let the rest fade away. I pray that when confronted with something negative, you will not internalize it, but you will take it to the creator and say, God, what do I need to learn from this? When you are confronted and given the gift of optimism, that you will not deny it and turn away from it. When you are given the gift of laughter, that you will join in. I pray above all for peace. Peace that comes from a heart that does not need to understand. A heart that can simply trust that today is a good day and God saw fit to wake you up so you could be a part of it. Have wonderful dreams today, dreamers. May they be the sweetest of dreams. Bye.